we're going to walk through how to use Glide Pages. So if you come to the plus sign here and click New Project, you're probably familiar with the mobile app of Glide. And today we're going to walk through how to build Glide Pages or a web page, basically a web app version of your mobile app. There are lots of use cases for this, and we'll talk through a couple of those a little bit later on. But first, I wanted to just give a general overview of how to use Glide Pages and the different customizations that are available. So let's go ahead and click into a new web page. If you don't have one built already, follow through like you with the mobile app. You just hit continue, name your project, choose Google Sheets, and hit create page. Now, before we dive into customizing and figuring out how we're going to use all of the different options in here, let's take a quick overview of what we see on the screen. If you're familiar with Glide mobile apps, you probably will be very familiar with the layout here as everything's pretty similar. Starting up at the top, we have, of course, the name. And then as we move to the middle, we have our data, which is coming from Google Sheets. So as with the mobile version, you can always adjust it in your Google Sheet. So you can certainly add different uh, sheets here. This functionality is the same as it is in mobile. As you can see, the web is a bit different, although you will be able to scale down a little bit smaller and can see how it would look on a mobile device, even though the functionality is different than the mobile app. From there, we have our settings tab at the end. Again, just like the mobile apps, you can. this is where you can change your appearance, move your navigation, pick your accent colors, uh, your background colors, your widths, and go through all the additional info, including the app. You can change your icons, you know, have different things here. So take some time to go through all these screens as you would with your mobile app as well, but wanted to give you a quick overview of how things are laid out. So looking at that, we have our pages and then our screen data. So as we can see, just like if the, the web, just like with the mobile app version, the pages correspond to our sheets that we've brought in from Google. And we have a lot of other options here when it comes to our screen. So this is different depending on what you're using the mobile apps for. There is some functionality that doesn't cross over. Just keep that in mind when you're building this out. Even if you have an existing mobile app and you're building the web-based version, there are a few things that aren't on both. So don't be surprised if you're looking for a functionality that isn't quite there yet. That being said, there are lots of things you can see and do. This is just a basic template that I started with uh, existing from Glide, this, their employee directory, and this is how it's built out. I've gone ahead and uh, added in this, this button here, which we'll walk through later in another tutorial. But aside from that, everything else shows up standard. If you click the plus sign like you would for a web app or a mobile app as well, you can see you have lots of different options to build out this screen. Starting with the titles, you can pull in a simple title, a profile title, a hero section, or an action item. So depending on what you're using this particular web app for, you can bring a lot of depth and style to your, your screen. Be careful when you're using these different sections and containers that you are structuring things appropriately and laying them out appropriately. Depending on the section, you have different options. So as you can see, the containers have colors that you can accent. You can change their layout to be card, accent, dark, highlight, or image. And you can adjust that image. So you can enter a URL, you can upload an image, or pull one in from existing data. So a few different options here. If you wanted to give that a, a fun effect, you can also darken and lighten the different styles. So that's a little bit on the title sections. Let's delete some of those out of there. Next, we have the collections. That's probably what you're used to if you're familiar with building out on the mobile app version. Again, the same styles here, the card, the grid, the list, and the table. 
adjust accordingly. You could always pull in the collections uh, defaulted that way as well. From there, we have pretty much everything else you would use to build out the web app. So you have different containers that you can add things into to give your, your content a little bit of depth. So this, the containers are what will allow you to style things. So just keep that in mind that if you don't have something in a container, you won't be able to have this background styling. Important to note as you're building. Okay, so we have our containers and our separators. Can always put those in there. And you have a couple of different options, the small, medium, and large. Draw a line, or it can be a blank separator. From there, our content fields, just as with our mobile app. Again, you can pull in different fields based on where the information is coming from. So for us, that's all the fields for the current sheet that we're on, which would be staff. Delete that out of there. You can pull in image blocks. Again, that would be only relevant if you have photos. So just keep that in mind if your data doesn't have any photos, videos, and numbers. Moving on down to our action items, breadcrumbs will let people know where they're coming from. So this is only really relevant if, say, you're clicking on this detailed button. As you can see, we went from just staff to staff, and now we're on the CEO. So that's relevant as you build out the site to let people know where they're navigating within the app. Buttons can be individualized, or you can add action buttons within containers. So depending on what you're doing, here in the collection, you'll see this is how we added the employee. We're adding item buttons or title bar actions, or you can have them stand alone. So just keep that in mind. You can have these open links. There's lots and lots of different options depending on what you would like to do. Sending emails, edit screens, form screens, notification screens. You can even have it trigger a webhook or a zap if you're building out complex flows. Next, we have just a singular button. Works with the same functionality as a button block. From there, we have forms. So there's a general contact form that's built in and you can customize that much as you would with the mobile app versions. Again, you can add some conditions if you would like to do that as well, and then add in additional columns. There's also a general form, so this form container, which pulls in all of the relevant information for that sheet. You can add in additional columns and headings using the form elements down here. We'll walk through how to customize this in detail and how to attach it to this button a little bit later in another tutorial. And then finally, we have text. So this is where you have rich text. This would allow you to add in headers. And then we have hint. Hint you probably won't use too terribly often, so we're not going to cover it, but rich text might be applicable to you. This uh, is if you are building this out to be more of a website instead of a web app and you need to have any kind of SEO, it might be important for you to have rich text available. So this is where you could add in that rich text element. So that is the general overview of the different options that you have within the Glide Pages screens. And again, much like with the uh, apps, you have the ability to drag and see what things look like. Lots of different functionality in here. We'll go over some of the basics of how to customize this directory to add an employee via a form and add a location via a form, and also how to restructure this to make it a bit more actionable in terms of an employee directory, being able to send emails, and see direct reports. I hope this gave you a good overview of how to use Glide Pages and tune in to see how we build out the employee directory. Mm -hmm.